I think Jackie was here. It smells like poop. Hey guys, today I want to try something a little different. So I wanted to play the game either, so would you rather, one or the other. And I thought this would be kind of fun, and, I, and before I start I wanted to say thank you for all the amazing support and just pep talk that you guys have been giving me in the previous video, so I can't thank you enough for always being my moral support. But just know that I wasn't being too hard on myself, I was just kind of reflecting out loud, so you know how sometimes we're all in our head? That's just one of those days. So, today, let's play Would You Rather. So, would you rather need glasses to see far away or need glasses to see close up? I work close up way too often. So this one is pretty easy for me. I think I would rather have glasses to see far away because I don't look very far too often. So that's mine. And it seems like it's the majority. <laughs> it seems like it's the majority. All right, let's go to the next one. Okay, would you rather be stuck in an aquarium with a great void? Nope, nope. Anything in water is nope. Be stuck in a room where the floor is covered in the lake. Oh, no. Oh, man. I'll take the shark. Yeah, I, I have goosebumps and ew, ugh, spiders. I can't, I can't deal with spiders. There was this one time where there was a spider on the on the ground, and I didn't want to deal. I just didn't want to deal with it. So I just took a cup, put it on top of the spider, and just left it there for Pat to deal with because I want nothing to do with that spider. Absolutely nothing to do with it. Uh, so I'm gonna go with the great white shark. <laughs> majority majority would go with a great oh man I still have goosebumps majority would go I'm curious if you guys would have chosen spiders or sharks would you rather drive a moped on a tightrope that's hard a moped is kind of like a scooter or go over Niagara Falls in a barrel chances of survival are pretty slim on both and a tightrope I mean with the weight well tightrope technically should stay straight right Niagara Falls, you know you're gonna fall down. You know you're going down. Tightrope, I mean, as long as you keep the wheel, the, the handlebars straight, you should be okay. So I'm gonna take my chances on the moped on a tightrope because Niagara Falls, you, you're, you've relinquished control to the actual fall. Whereas on the tightrope, you actually have control. So I'm gonna go with the moped. What? Really? You guys just gonna let go of your control? 67% of people said they would go on Niagara Falls barrel drop. No. Would you rather be an orc or be a night elf? I was, that's easy. I don't know, why would anyone choose to be an orc? Isn't your intelligence kind of like dipped <laughs> a little bit? Night elf. Night elf is, seems pretty cool. Don't they have, aren't they a little evil? I'll, t I'll take the night elf. Yep, most people agree. That one's pretty easy. Would you rather have no thumbs, that's, or only have thumbs. So would I rather have no thumbs, which would be kind of hard crafting, but you could, you could, you could work your way around it, or only have thumbs, which means that all your fingers are kind of short and chubby, which is pretty much already what I have. I think I'll, oh wait. But yeah, that's a little harder because with your thumb, you kind of have only one kind of arch, Whereas your other fingers, you have like two different. I'll get rid of my thumbs. <laughs> I would rather have no thumbs. Hey, it looks like I'm with the majority. So that works, <laughs> that works out. Would you rather be a vampire, be a werewolf? So this one is interesting because as a werewolf, you only get this one night of repercussions, right? You, you only have to be worried on, you know, for the full moon. Whereas as a vampire, it's a daily thing. You can only nourish yourself on blood, and you can't go out during the daytime, and we're not talking Twilight, Twilight guys. We're talking about the real stuff. So, but, mind you, I don't think werewolves are immortal, are they? Huh. Werewolves, I don't think werewolves are immortal. I don't think so. So you could be immortal as a vampire, but kind of not have to go out during the day, which I don't go out during the day anyways. Vampire it is. <laughs> Vampire it is. Oh, that is really split down the middle. 
If you guys were to choose vampire or werewolf, which one would you have taken and why? I think I like the idea of being a vampire because you get a long time to do what you gotta do. I could, I could craft and paint all night long. Would you rather jump off a two-story roof, which means I'm gonna break my knees, or take a sandwich tackle from three rugby players? Oh. Are they gonna be gentle? <laughs> Are they gonna be gentle? <laughs> Probably not. But you see, if you jump off a two-story roof, which, no, that's that's pretty high. Two-story roof means you're probably gonna break your, your legs and your back. Whereas a sandwich tackle, that means they're all kind of coming at you from three different directions, could potentially just kind of break your arms? I'll take the tackle. Oh, it's, it's, okay, most people are like, I'll take the tackle because jumping is just, too risky, too too risky. Whereas the other one I could kind of brace myself, but on a fall if you brace yourself, that's not good news. Ew, would you rather only smell like poop or only smell poop? No! Oh no! Oh no! Only, if I only smell like poop, just nobody's gonna be around me. Whereas if I only smell poop, I'm the only one who's affected, as opposed to making everyone else around me affected, I could be the only one with repercussions. But doesn't that mean that everything I eat is just gonna taste like poop? Isn't that... Isn't that what it means? Isn't it? Oh no. Ah, oh, man. I think I would rather for me to have the repercussions rather than other people to have to endure the smell of my constant presence. I think Jackie was here. It smells like poop. <laughs> no, I, I, I think I'd rather, <laughs> I think I'd rather only smell the poop. So yeah, I'm gonna go for that one. Oh, it seems like most people took the considerate choice. Kudos guys. Would you rather know when the world ends or know how the world ends? Huh. I think I would rather know when as opposed to how because the when means that you can kind of pre well, no, you can't really prep for it if it's the end. But then the how... Okay, so if I know how, I could take technically, I could take measures to protect myself or others. Whereas if I know when, it's just a time without actual information of how to stop it or protect. So I definitely would say how. How is it? Yeah. It's funny, I'm, I'm mostly on the, the majority side. Which I don't know if that's a good thing or, or that makes me ordinary. Would you rather be forced to attend school for your entire life? <laughs> well, I didn't read the other one yet, but I mean, if I'm attending school for the rest of my life, guys, you know I'm a teacher, right? That's my real job, not YouTube. So my full-time job is teacher. I kind of decided actively to go to school for my whole life or be forced to marry your distant cousin no 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 school <laughs> what what 44 percent of people would rather go to school versus just be forced to so 56 percent of people would rather marry okay a distant cousin i guess but nonetheless it's your cousin quick fact in Egypt, it is very normal to marry your first cousin. Very normal. I actually was proposed to by two first cousins. And I was like, no, <laughs> just no, no. I am born and raised here, except for a few years back there. And I'm, no, just no, uh, yeah. I'd rather attend school for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Would you rather be malnourished or be obese? Give me that second helping of stir fry rice. <laughs> oh no, people would rather be malnourished. Nah man, I'll take that second serving, no problem. Would you rather be able to fly up to five meters off the ground? That's pretty cool. Or have magic carpet that can fly you up to 50 meters off the ground. Okay, so five meters off the ground. I'm exactly 1.5 meters, which is about five foot tall. So this is about three times, 
ish, give or take. It's high enough, but it's not high. But a magic carpet, I mean, if it's kind of like carpet from Aladdin, it means it can kind of follow you around so I don't have to carry the carpet with me. So I think I would rather have a magic carpet. Mind you though, flying on your own is a pretty cool thing. It's only five meters though. How far can you get? I mean, what do I want to do with it? What do, what do I want to do with my flying powers? How, what do I want to do? Five meters is not very high, but it's high enough. I think I'd rather have the power myself than, you know, in case something happens to the carpet. But then again, you could go places with the carpet. But then you five yeah, five meters, you're just going to run into buildings. Let's take the carpet. Most people, most people said the carpet. Would you rather eat all the carpet in your house? Ew, eat all of the wood and tots. Oh, come on. How is that even like a would you rather? I mean, th there's a lot of wood in a house and tiles, and that's going to go down and like scrape everything. You're going to get splinters on the way down. You're going to get... Uh, man, obviously I'll eat the carpet. I don't want splinters and glass shards down my throat. Yeah, obviously. That's the obvious choice. Okay, I'm gonna do two more, and then afterwards I'll let you guys go. Let me know, by the way, do you, did you like this kind of stuff, or would you like to see other games? I don't know if I would be allowed to play too many games because I'm not with a network, so... Yeah, if you like this kind of game playing and kind of doing I would rather or whatnot, yeah, keep, let me, give me a comment. And if there are games you know I could be playing, obviously Nintendo games are out of the question, let me know. That would be really cool. I, I, I have fun doing this. I haven't played a game on this channel in a while, I think since Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, would you rather never be able to compliment or never be able to complain? I think I don't really complain that much, except for recently. <laughs> except for recently. Um, I like complimenting people. I'd rather never be able to complain because I love complimenting people and I, I, I love doing that. Yeah, there we go. There's a lot of considered people on the internet. Why do people say internet is, is mean? One last one. Would you rather spend a year alone in a deep sea submarine? That's That could drive anyone crazy. Spend a year alone in a space station. If something goes wrong, either way, you're gonna just like either drown or explode in spice. But at least in the deep sea, you could kind of look out of those little things and see creatures. Whereas in space station, you're seeing nothing. That's a hard one. I think I'll go with deep sea submarine. Because it doesn't say, no, it does say deep sea. I mean, there's some cool stuff under the water, right? So I'm gonna take that one. Most people said space. <laughs> so that's interesting. All right, that's really interesting. So with that, that said, now you get to know what I would rather do. I'm curious on some of the questions that I got, which one were you surprised that I chose and why would you have chosen the opposite? So thank you so much for hanging out, guys. Vlogmas day 23. I don't know why I punch it, but now it's a punch. <laughs> I'll see you guys tomorrow.